If you've got pressure problems in your reverse osmosis system, you're in the right place. Uh, it takes you literally, I don't know, maybe five, 10 minutes and it will get you fixed right back up. I'll show you the maintenance uh, to get you started. To begin, you're gonna need two tools. You're gonna need some kind of a pressure gauge and some kind of a bicycle pump or an air compressor. I'm just using a little portable bike pump. Somewhere underneath your sink, you're going to find the pressure tank. Just clear out whatever you need to, to get to it. And uh, you'll have to turn off the water as well. And you'll want to turn that valve off. That's the off position. And then uh, you should find a red line and some kind of a T for your reverse osmosis. Shut that puppy off as well. And then go back to the top. We'll drain out all the pressure from the water line and the water line up top we're just going to leave that open that's uh, hopefully going to minimize the mess of disconnecting that tank and getting that tank so we can service it disconnecting the tank is super easy there should be a Remove clip mm -hmm. some systems have them others do not if they don't have the clip don't sweat these are almost all just push pull connectors now I'm pulling this tank out so you guys have a better chance of seeing exactly what I'm doing if you have the room underneath the sink, you can service this thing right where it sits, exactly the same way. I'll show you how to do that a little further on in the video. Well, believe it or not, the hard part's already done. All we're gonna do now is pre-charge or recharge that tank, bring it back up to working level PSI, and everything else should be running. To do that, we're gonna move the blue plastic cap. Then we're going to test what PSI is inside the tank. So this is where we're going to test and then we're going to fill it back up. Now a little bit of word of caution here. You are probably going to still get some residual water coming out of that tank. So make sure it's pointed towards a sink or in a safe direction. To fill your tank up, we're just going to open this valve. I'm not going to do it because I can feel there's water in here and I don't uh, want to get a mess all over my kitchen that needs to be pointed at a sink. We're going to open this valve up and then we're just going to go fill down here until we reach uh, between 5 and 7 PSI uh, for this tank. If there is any kind of label here indicating a different PSI for you guys to fill to, fill to that PSI. Almost all of these RO tanks are uh, factory filled to between 5 and 7. Most target 6 PSI. This gauge will show that, but just barely. Once your tank is filled back up to 6 PSI, we're going to close that top valve again. We're going to put it back underneath the sink, reconnect everything, and uh, let the RO fill up that reservoir. To connect these things back up, it is super easy. Just point it in and give it a firm push to make sure that it's seated all the way. Once it is, put that blue clip back in its place. Now, if you did get yourself a little portable pump to do this, you can actually do this right underneath the sink. You don't have to pull it on top of the counter like I did here. So I'll show you how to do it that way as well. You find out what the tank specs are for your specific tank. Five to seven is pretty standard. First off, make sure that this valve is open and the feed line or the supply line to your RO should be turned off as well. So once you have that turned off and your tank valve open, you can go ahead and remove that blue cap on the tank pressure valve. And then you're gonna go up top and you're gonna open this up as well until the pressure is out of there. This will need to stay open the entire time that you're doing this. All right, once that's all done, I like this little bike valve because it actually screws onto the tank. You're just gonna pump away and keep filling this tank up You'll notice that every time that you pump down here, you're gonna get water out the top. Just keep following that through till you get six PSI. If you're not sure how fast to go, good indication is you'll probably get water every time that you pump your tank back up. You can also take a starting reading to kind of see uh, where you're at with the PSI that's already existing in the tank. Keep in mind as well, you can't take your final PSI reading until that water completely stops flowing. A good sign uh, as well that this tank uh, needs to be refilled is if you've drained everything out and you can kind of feel that your tank is top heavy when you're shaking it, 
it's a good sign that the bladder isn't emptying that tank all the way so that's a pretty good flag but uh, just keep slowly filling up eventually the water will stop coming out of the tap make sure that you leave those those valves open then once you have it between uh, 5 and 7 psi i target 6 6 worked really good for me so once i got it to 6 psi all you do then is uh, disconnect the airline or the compressor line for the feed bib that you got there put the cap back on there and then then you can go ahead and open up all the valves in your system and let the tank uh, refill itself you'll need to give it about uh, an hour or two for the tank to for for the reverse osmosis system that you've got to refill that tank and once you do you should have good working pressure back at your little spigot little bonus information for you here most of the under sink tank reverse osmosis systems are a 4.4 gallon tank, which means they should store about two and a half gallons of water. So if you're getting anything underneath a milk jug of water or about that much, you know your uh, tank is definitely, it's time to recharge it. The manufacturers recommend that you do this about once a year or any time that you change the filter. Just make sure you only pressurize that tank when it's completely empty. If it's not, open the valves so that the water has somewhere to go otherwise you're just pressurizing the tank to a wrong psi which won't blow anything up won't do anything but it'll just exasperate the problem the water needs to be out for that bladder to be filled to its proper working pressure oh and uh yeah that's still going <laughs> <laughs>